Hello mathematicians. Today we are going to talk about solving multi-step inequalities. On this first example, it says solve negative 8x plus 1 is less than or equal to 17 and graph the solution. I want to get negative 8x by itself. Right now, I am adding 1 to negative 8x. To undo addition, I'm going to do subtraction. And so I'll have negative 8x. Negative 1 plus 1 is 0. I'm going to bring down my less than or equal to sign. And 17 minus 1 is 16. From here, I want to get x alone. Right now, x is being multiplied by negative 8. To undo multiplication, I am going to do division. Negative 8 divided by negative 8 is positive 1. So that leaves me with a positive 1x. Whenever you multiply or divide both sides of an inequality by a negative number, then you need to remember to flip your inequality symbol. 16 minus 8 is negative 2. So my solution is x is greater than or equal to negative 2. So negative 2 is going to go in the middle of my number line. And remember, you must fill out your entire number line. Don't just put the number in the middle. We need to know which way your number line is going and what your scale is. Because this is greater than or equal to, I am going to have a closed circle because negative 2 is included in the solution. Everything is greater than or equal to negative 2. So I am going to shade to the right. Do not forget to include your arrows when you are shading. So let's ask another question here. Let's ask two more questions actually. So question A is going to be, is zero a solution? And then question B will be, is negative 4 a solution to the inequality? Well, let's see. 0 is right here. A number is a solution to the inequality if it is in the shaded region of the inequality. 0 is in that shaded region, right? 0 is less than or equal to negative 2 or sorry, greater than or equal to negative 2. So because 0 is greater than negative 2, this is a solution. So we'll say yes. Let's look at part B. Part B says, is negative 4 a solution? Well, negative 4 is right here. What we're saying is, is negative 4 greater than or equal to negative 2? No, it's not. I know that by looking at this graph because negative 4 is not in the shaded area. So this is not a solution. And that makes sense because negative 4 is not greater than or equal to negative 2. It's smaller. If that's confusing, think about it this way. Would it be better to owe me $2 or to owe me $4? Well, owing me $4 is more than owing me $2. Right? So that is why negative 4 is not greater than negative 2. Right? You would owe me more money here than you would here. Negative 2 is a higher number. If we look at the next example, it says solve 2x minus 18 is less than negative 4x plus 16. The first thing that I notice on this inequality is that I have x's on either side of my inequality symbol. If it helps, think about like having a line here where your inequality symbol is. These numbers, or these variables I should say, are on opposite sides of that line. So I need to get them on the same side. So I'm gonna move this negative 4x over to the other side by adding 4x to both sides. 2x plus 4x is 6x. I'm going to bring down my negative 18 and my less than symbol. Negative 4x plus 4x is 0. And I'm going to bring down the 6. 
I want to get 6x alone. Right now, I'm subtracting 18 from 6x. To undo subtraction, I'll do addition. So I'm going to bring down the 6x. Negative 18 plus 18 is 0. I'm going to bring down my inequality symbol. And 6 plus 18 is 24. I want to get x alone. x is being multiplied by, uh, by positive 6. To undo multiplication, I'm going to do division. 6 divided by 6 is 1, so that leaves me with a 1x. I don't need to flip my inequality symbol because I didn't divide both sides by a negative number. So my inequality symbol is going to stay the same. 24 divided by 6 is 4. So my solution is x is less than 4. So 4 is going to go in the middle of my number line. 4 is not included because there's no equal sign here. And so I'm going to have an open circle at 4. So 4 is not a part of the solution. I want all the numbers that are smaller than 4. And so I am going to shade this inequality to the left. Do not forget to include your arrow in your shading. On the next example, to the, my first step is going to be to use a distributive property. So I'll have 2x minus 6 is greater than 6. I want to get 2x alone. Right now, I'm subtracting 6 from 2x. To undo subtraction, I'll do addition. So I'll bring down the 2x. Negative 6 plus 6 is 0. I'll bring down my greater than symbol. And 6 plus 6 is 12. I want to get x alone. x is being multiplied by 2. To undo multiplication, I'll do division. And so I'll have x is greater than 6. I did not have to flip my inequality symbol because I did not multiply or divide by a negative number. So my answer is x is greater than 6. So 6 is going to go in the middle of my number line. And make sure you fill out your number line completely. 6 is not included as my solution because I don't have the equal to symbol here. And so because it's not included, I'm going to have an open circle. I want all of the numbers that are greater than 6, and so I am going to shade to the right. Don't forget to include your arrow with your shading. Let's look at this last example. We have 2x plus 5 minus 9x is greater than or equal to negative 2. The first thing that I notice is that I have like terms on the side of my inequality. Because they are on the same side, I can just combine like terms. What I mean by that is if I draw my line at my inequality symbol, both of these terms are on the same side of the line. Unlike on this one when they were on opposite sides. So when they're on opposite sides, you need to add or subtract to get them on the same side. With this example down here, they're already on the same side. So I can just go ahead and combine like terms. 2 minus 9 is negative 7. So that's going to give me negative 7x. I'll bring down the plus 5, my greater than or equal to symbol, and the negative 2. Now I want to get negative 7x alone. I am adding 5 to negative 7x. To undo addition, I'll have to do subtraction. So I'm going to bring down my negative 7x. 5 minus 5 is 0. I'm going to bring down my greater than or equal to symbol. And negative 2 minus 5 is negative 7. I want to get x alone. Right now, I am multiplying x by negative 7. To undo multiplication, I'll do division. Negative 7 divided by negative 7 is positive 1, so that leaves me with a positive 1x. 
I divided both sides by a negative number. So I need to remember to flip my inequality symbol. Negative 7 divided by negative 7 is positive 1. So my solution is x is less than or equal to 1. So 1 is going to go in the middle of my number line. It's going to have a closed circle. 1 is included as a part of my solution set. I want all the numbers that are less than 1, so I am going to shade to the left. Don't forget to include your arrow in your shading. Your shading will probably be a lot neater than mine.